Okay, we're back live in Los Angeles. This is SiliconAngle.tv's The Cube. This is our flagship telecast where we go out to events, conferences, um, things going on in tech and talk to the smartest people we can find, extract that signal from the noise. And uh, we do this at events, uh, corporate events. We do it at industry conferences. We talk to the experts, we talk to the leaders, and we don't care if they're VCs, entrepreneurs, senior executives. We talk to them, extract the signal from the noise, get the trend information, and share that knowledge with you. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com. I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and we're here live in Irvine, California with Flynn Malloy, who's a senior director of uh, HP's uh, uh, support services portfolio. Uh, Flynn, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much, guys. So we've been talking all day about how services has to change because the infrastructure and applications are changing. Um, you guys have announced some new offerings around that. Um, so let's talk about it. How are you guys responding to these changes? Well, um, you know, starting over a year ago, we sat down and really took a look at, um, you know, what the support processes inside of the customer's environments, how they're changing, right? So, you know, the guy who gets up or the gal who gets up every day uh, goes into work. Their job is to keep the hospital or the school or the manufacturing plant from uh, staying up and from staying online. And the processes that they have to go through, patch management, as we talked about, operations management, incident management, these things have changed uh, in the new environment, right? When you're looking at discrete systems and the kind of support processes you need for those compared to, you know, the virtual pools of IT and, uh, you know, all the things that come with that, you know, like they say, there's there's no smoking gun, right? So finding the problem in the new environment is, is very difficult. Okay, so convince me, the skeptics in the audience that will say, oh, well, this is just a lot of, a lot of slideware and, you know, HP dressing up its portfolio. Uh, why is it not that? Well, Give you us know, some proof points. All right, let's, let's, let's talk about an example. So we, we touched on it earlier. So when we think of reactive, so the you know, foundation care is the is the reactive component of our portfolio uh, that we talk about. When you think about the kinds of reactive services that customers wanted in, a, you know, and, and still want, you know, in a traditional model, in a discrete IT model, you know, what you have are, like, you know, the ninjas on call, right? Which are the six hour call to repair ninjas. When something happens, they parachute in, get you back up immediately. In the new world, you know, you don't have on or off black or white, um, you know, IT downtime, right? You have performance slowdowns uh, and that, requires a different level of service and a different kind of uh, offering from the vendor. So you don't need the ninjas, you're looking for something uh, you know, like the red bat phone, right? So yeah. in proactive <laughs> care, when you, know, you want to go straight to an expert, um, you want to pick up the phone and talk to him immediately. And that, and that performance slowdown might be as painful as some downtime was 10 years ago. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, so, so you've re-architected uh, your portfolio to accommodate this, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, um, you've got a spectrum. Right. Talk about that a little bit. So, you know, we start with foundation care and then proactive care and then data center care. Those are really the three service levels. So and what are those? Yeah, take us yeah. through them. So foundation care starts with a focus on reactive um, and the kind of reactive that you need in the new world. So, you know, as we just said, it's not the same stuff we used to have. It's not the ninjas on call. What you're looking for is think of the problem in the same way that I think of the problem. So hardware support, software support, all the way up to the ISV layer, the, you know, the virtualization layer. I want problem resolution for the whole thing. I, I don't want to have to finger point, call this guy, what do I do? I need someone to walk the whole problem through with me. So that's part of our offering in foundation care is you, know, you can have these spectrum of support all the way up to you know, the ISV layer if you need it. That's a new support service called collaborative support inside of foundation care. Okay. So that's foundation care, that's reactive. Yeah. Next step up is proactive care, which you know, Michelle touched on, which brings into, it builds on foundation care, but then it brings in all of those proactive elements. And all the things we've been services. talking about today. All yeah. things we've been talking about. And you know, different kinds of services designed to reduce the complexity in the environment. So you know, an example, talked about patch management. I got a good story about that. Um, you know, we have a big event called HP Discover um, every year. It's a big customer event in the summertime. And the most uh, attended breakout session in this big customer event, you know, we have breakout sessions on cloud, unified communications, um, you know, network topology. The most attended breakout session was patch management, just like uh -oh. a vendor headset. <laughs> and while you go ask customers about it, right? I mean, they're going to say, I've got 14 patches that I need to upload. I don't even do patch management anymore, right? It's too complex. And so what we do is we offer a set of proactive services specifically designed to take that complexity away. You don't need that complexity in the old world. We got a tower, right, that's stacked on. You put your patch right on that app, it's right on the tower. In the new world, it all kind of mixes together like a big soup. 
So what we do is we put our best practices in place, we put uh, proactive scans and patch management tooling in place to specifically say this is the best way to do it. So that's it a premium, complexity premium offering, right? Yep. And, yep. and what are the prerequisites? Do I, do I have to have Gen 8? Do I... Um, no, it's not even really specific to the box or the enclosure, right? So what we do, you know, this is another element of the proactive service that it cuts across, you know, the environment. When you have a set of, you know, patch management or, you know, incident management, how are you doing these things? And we do a health check, proactive scan, but it's not just on the, the, the blade or the, the pizza box itself, right? It takes a look at your entire enclosure and your entire environment. And so... You know, you don't have to have Gen 8. You don't have to have, it's, you know, it's any You don't have to have HP technology. When we talk about patch management, it has to do with the whole system. That you're okay, so on. it's the whole environment, not yeah. some, some some box. Yeah. Okay. So, Floyd, my question is, um, the mega trend that obviously is happening, we've been talking about it in, in the intro, what do you guys see as the revolutionary key pivot trends that you're, you're, you're taking advantage of that's creating this new sea change or revolution in services? Is it virtualization, mobile, cloud, all the above? Can you be specific? Because obviously you're talking to customers and you're getting you know, new requirements. You obviously have operational efficiencies with that. What are the key trends that, you, that are really driving this change? So I think, and we've touched on them already, I think uh, virtualization, the maturity of virtualization, even in the last year, you know, if you were to look at the, you know, the Fortune 5000, how has uh, you know, virtualization as, as a key part, uh, key pillar of the new environments, how has that accelerated? It has been va rapidly accelerating over the last year. So that is a very important part. When you virtualize out across you know, a hyperscale environment, the, how you manage it, right? The processes that you manage, uh, you know, your incidents, the operations, how you do it, it's just different, right? When you start to look at where the problem set is, um, what the technology is, virtualization definitely changes support. Um, uh, of course, convergence, you know, as you bring all of those components together, you know, that's, it's a new way of looking. You know, when you think about your support vendors, just like the IT teams today, they are broken into, or they used to be broken into storage and servers, and right, there's all those centers of excellence, right, that you call it. You know, in convergence, just like bringing the software layer together with the hardware layer, um, you know, it is a new way of looking holistically at the whole thing, right? You got to look at all those components acting together. And you know, most of the call centers today, most of the customer environments today aren't really taking advantage of that. They're moving in that direction. What about the competition? Obviously HP competes with a lot of the other big uh, companies out there, but you have new upstarts coming into the ch either from a channel partner mm. or startups. We talked about cloud scaling earlier. Um, so you got these boutique services that are actually growing really fast, differentiating themselves, and you got the competitors like IBM and others mm -hmm. pushing their own services. What's what's unique and different about HP right now? Well, you know, I think on this whole topic in general, um, you know, I think we've heard a lot, and you know, as you guys follow with your services angle, you know, I think that we believe that the support industry as a whole has not really kept pace with the change of technology. You know, I think most of what you see out there, including some of the boutique shops, is still structured around the discrete systems, right? So really tackling the whole thing as a whole is a trend. It's a fast-moving trend, but we don't think that there's that many people really, really jumping in it. And the reason why we think that is because, you know, it's there's not too many companies out there that have all of the pieces in the chain, right? I mean, you have to be able to look at everything all the way up the stack in order to really tackle the problem set. So who out there, uh, you know, other than just a few of the major players and the boutiques really have the expertise well, we're seeing some joint every ventures, single like piece. With Cisco, we've seen some joint ventures with Cisco and others, VCE and other types of services out there mm -hmm. emerging. Mm -hmm. Not sure if the partnering versus having the actual product will be a fit. Dave and I are watching that. Um, it seems to be working well for those guys with VCE in particular. Um, well, in HP, I think the trend is your friend there. I mean, we just wrote, uh, did, uh, did some st study on this and we, we see that the whole converged infrastructure play is going to be the dominant approach in the marketplace by 2017, well over half of the, mm -hmm. the sales. So, but I wanted to come back to the offerings just to make sure we had those down, if I, if I may. Please. So we got foundation care, we got proactive care, I think we get those. Then you've got data center care. So what is that? Are these build on each other? Or is that they do. Um, so they do. Like they do. The concierge service, or well, so yeah, you've uh, foundation care is sort of the base level reactive, you know, with all the components, um, you know, reinvented for this new environment. Then proactive care layers on top of that, um, which brings in all the proactive elements uh, that we talked about, not just the tooling, the direct experts, you know, the the rapid um, call in to the advanced solution center. Data center care is, you know, it's kind of a whole new way of thinking about support. It's, tr you know, treating data set the data center as a unit. Yeah, so as a unit of support. So as you look at it, it's breaking down, you know, all of the, the different key components of support that you need 
in that environment. So that would be environment-wide entitlement. That would be um, enhanced call handling. You know, different levels of reactive services for these kinds of environments. So here's an example: would be uh, data center care for a hyperscale customer. Right, who probably has a crack IT team, right, and they don't want the ninjas. Uh, they probably want the bat phone. You know, in terms of reactive, they probably want a parts kiosk, right? So, I mean, if they're a hyperscale customer, yeah. they've got two or three profiles, right? They buy them by the truckload. They don't know their serial numbers. They don't care their serial numbers. What they want is like a parts kiosk there on site. Yeah. So keep me, keep my parts, keep my fans, keep all that there. Send me a pallet. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. And so, you know, when we recognize that reality, everybody's got four walls agreements. Everybody can do that. I think what we've done is really look at the heart of these new environments, hyperscale environments, cloud computing. Uh, you know, what, what do those environments really need from a support partner? And well, that's where we bring in data center care. Well, we're here live in, in Los Angeles with HP's big announcement. We would not be able to bring our great editorial analysis and commentary. We're looking for the support of HP, so I want to say thanks, HP. And Floyd, thanks for acknowledging services angle because um, Dave and I truly believe in that. So my final question is, and it was why we've been publishing around services angle, uh, and people thought it was kind of like, what are you guys doing? You could be doing a lot of other things. Um, what, what makes services sexy? Because we were talking before you came on about um, about what that is. Yeah. So, why are services why are services so hot today? What's your perspective on that? Well, so uh, you know, I believe that you know, at the heart of services, you know, in, in any kind of service, you've got you've got IP, you've got back end, but you know, when you think of services, it's people, it's brains, right? You know, when uh, and we've talked about this before, you know, what you know, HP has a great reputation in the market. You ask a lot of people, what do you love about HP? They say the people. Why do you love the people of HP? It's not the marketing guys or the sales guys, right? They love the delivery guys, the brains. You know, when you think about really what is happening, you know, in unstructured data, when you think about what's happening, you know, out in the industry, the social media, yeah, that's not technology that's driving that. It's people that's driving that. It's a brain power. You know, I'm thinking about some of your broadcasts and about the big brains that you put on there that put content out into the world. You know, that is the cutting edge. It's what's in the brains. Flynn Malloy, uh, great, great vision. Good energy. We really like it. Hopefully, you can come back and uh, maybe spend some more time with us today. We're out of time right now, but let's hear from one of those people. Uh, we've got a, a, a video uh, from a TS expert. We've been running those all day, so let's hear from the people who are actually making it happen in the field. We'll be right back.